Hey, Matt Russell here with another Photoshop tutorial. Today, I simply just wanna explain how to set up the document right. So many times people go into Photoshop, guns blazing, they drop in the image and they just start editing away only to find out that that's the wrong size, wrong format and wrong DPI. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> so today, I wanna go over the three types of documents you're really gonna need to focus in on. The first one is digital media. Is it digital? Uh, second one, is it personal print? Are you gonna print it out of your home printer or go to like um, Walmart or Kinko's or something? So personal print. And sec or third, commercial print, commercial print. So personal uh, print, digital, and commercial. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and open up a new document. Uh, control N, and I'm gonna go ahead and just open up a US paper size uh, just to get the document going. Right off the bat, something I like to do is just go ahead and name your document. So let's do um, digital and personal print. Number one and number two, the digital uh, and personal print are gonna be the same setup no matter what. So go ahead and do these, uh, type it in, US paper, uh, this size letter, it's very common. With eight and a half by 11, that's the size of paper. Uh, resolution, this is something to keep uh, in the back of your mind. Most times resolution nowadays is gonna be 300. It used to be 72 for the internet, but that was the 90s. <laughs> That's gone, it's 300 now. So just keep in mind 300, unless you're doing commercial print. And again, we'll go over that in a moment. 300, then last color mode, RGB. Make sure if it's a personal print or a digital, it's RGB. That is the color of your screen. Uh, you know how there's like little dots. If you use a magnifying glass, it's red, green, and blue. That's the color scheme you want to use. So go ahead and click that. Press OK. I'm going to drop in this wonderful stock image. Place it. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so it fits the screen. Boom. All right. That's it. That's how you set it up right. You can edit away, add text, add font, add whatever you want to do. Make some great typography. Uh, black and white, but that is how you set up for personal and digital. All right, com uh, commercial is a completely different setup entirely. So no, I do not want to save it. Go to new document. If you are commercially getting print, what I mean by that is, are you ordering business cards, party flyers, a banner, a billboard? Are you designing a brochure for a corporation? <clears throat> What's going to happen is they're going to send that out to a uh, ink shop, uh, ink shop. I'm totally tongue twisted right now. <laughs> They're going to send it out to be commercially printed. <clears throat> and so they have a few requirements when you do that. And a lot of times if you send it out, they'll kick it back and say, uh, we're going to charge you a design fee to fix your document because you didn't set it up right. Well, here's how you set it up right. Go ahead and type in the name commercial print letter. Sure. Why not? Now with the size, Every time you order commercial print, they're going to say, hey, this is the bleed. And rule of thumb is the smaller the document, the smaller the bleed. The bigger the document, the bigger the bleed. What the bleed is, is just what is cut by the machines after it gets printed out. So if you want your final project this big, you, you send it to them this big, it gets printed, then they cut it to that big. So... With a bleed, you want to make sure you don't have any words in that bleed um, edge. You want to make sure that important things are not on that. So rule of thumb, smaller documents are usually 0 0.125, 0 0.125. I'll put it on the screen right now, 0 0.125. Larger documents, uh, like if you're doing a banner, they're usually going to say 0.25. So let's just pretend uh, for the sake of numbers, less adding, it's 0.25. So that means there's 0.25 of an inch all the way around. Um, so this is where the mathematics kind of come in. So uh, I'm kind of try to hope and hope that you don't get lost. 0.25 is our bleed, which means we have to double it because there's 0.25 on the left side, 0.25 on the right side, 0.25 on the top, 0.25 on the bottom. So you add those together, that's 0.5 on horizontal and, and 0.5 vertical. So width. We're gonna add 0.5, so that's gonna become nine, and 11 is gonna become 0.5. Also something to keep in mind, RGB is for personal and digital. 
CMYK is what you're going to send off to be professionally printed. Okay, their their machines are larger, and they, that's the colors that they the dye that they use. So when you edit on your screen, it'll look like what you're going to get. If you send them an RGB document, <laughs> I would say four out of 10 times, you'll get it back and you're like, that's not the color I picked because their machines have to guess what that color is. So CMYK for a commercial print, press OK. All right, now it looks a little bit bigger than a letter. So just real quick, I, I have to show you how to set up guides. Uh, guides are just a simple and visible line to show you what's gonna be cut off when you sent it to the printer. So holding down Alt, I'm gonna zoom into this corner. Make sure your rulers are on. They can be found in view rulers. So simple as that, just turn them on. And you can drag down. That's, that's one of my favorite features of this. So we said 0.25. So I wanna make sure that right there, it's at uh, close enough. This is just for us, this isn't for the printer. So 0.25, no, 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 and close enough. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use the space bar to scroll down, grab and scroll. Let's get this one as close as we can. Oh, no, I think it's this line. Yep, there we go. And a good rule of thumb is if it looks square, it's probably right. If you're thinking, oh, I think I did my math right, that's not right, it's not even square. And a lot of times you could just match it up uh, Kind of a trick I use is whatever the largest line is on the side near that area, that's usually pretty it. That's probably it. Okay, use space bar, scroll along the edge. There we go. Bring this one over. 0.25, there we go. All right, so everything within the blue lines is safe and everything on the edges will get cut off. Just remember that. Okay, go back to this image. Let's drop it in. Increase the size a little bit, boom. And that image is ready to be sent to a commercial printer. Uh, something we're gonna talk about in another video coming up in the next week or so is file formats. Uh, there are very specific file formats to send to the printer. Once that video's out, I'll go ahead and put it in the description. Well, I'm Matt Russell, and that was Photoshop Tips, helping you out today. I'll see you later.